David Suzuki urges us to protect our precious air and land and water. It's more than a gift. It's our soul, our heritage. Suzuki knows who to turn to for guidance. When I first encountered First Nations people, I was struck by the way they referred to the earth as their mother. They would tell me things like, we are made of the four sacred elements, earth, air, fire, and water. He's become an advocate for First Nations people, their human rights, their treaty rights, and environmental rights for us all. The greatest Canadian is someone who cares about our home and native land. Someone we can count on to take action to protect it here and now. It's not only our survival, but the very quality of our lives are dependent on the quality of the air, the water, the soil, the energy, and the biodiversity that cleanses and replenishes those things. I believe they should be sacred. You can't put a dollar and cents value on things that are sacred. Voting David Suzuki as our greatest Canadian makes a statement about our legacy, about our country. You have a chance to send a message to the world. People often ask me, how do you keep on going? Because the story that you're telling is pretty bleak. I've made a commitment into the future. My children didn't ask to be born. They've given me great pleasure and pride. But I owe them something big time. I have grandchildren now. I have a real obligation into the future. So I find that very inspiring, and I don't think anyone has got the right to say it's too late. Let's be practical. This is more than beautiful. This is what sustains us. Suzuki reminds us not to waste it, and certainly not to take it for granted. And it seems we are finally listening. It says a lot about you, Canada, that a geneticist with humble beginnings matters more to you than a Hollywood actor or a rock musician. He's a true Canadian who motivates us to care about one of the defining causes of our time, saving the planet. He is David Suzuki, the greatest Canadian. Vote for him. It's in our genes. That was the case for Dr. David Suzuki. Now let's go to the Greatest Canadian Command Center and Mark Kelly. Evan Solomon's spirited case for Alexander Graham Bell got a big response. Bell isn't out of 10th place yet, but he is getting a lot of votes. Wayne Gretzky has slid down to number nine. Just above him is Sir John A. Macdonald. David Suzuki is holding strong in seventh place, but we'll see what happens after tonight's show. Now the big story this week is Lester Pearson. Last week he was in ninth spot, but he surged to number six and is still climbing. Maybe it was the impassioned argument from Paul Gross that got people voting. Don Cherry is benched in fifth spot, Pierre Trudeau is at number four, but we haven't yet seen Rex Murphy's case for the former Prime Minister. Sir Frederick Banting is standing at third, sentimental favorite Terry Fox is in second spot, but he's just inches away from Tommy Douglas in number one. Now Tommy Douglas isn't just at the top of your list, he's also pretty popular with tonight's nominee. Here's what David Suzuki had to say about the race for the greatest Canadian. I would have been thrilled and honored to be in the top 1,000 or the top 10,000 Canadians. I mean, it's an amazing thing. My if I wished for anything, I wished that my mother and father were still alive because they it. were the ones yeah. that would have, have uh, really been thrilled by it. My, my vote is for Tommy Douglas. I mean, I, I think he was a great, a great guy.
Now what's special about this election is you don't have to be 18 to vote. Students from across the country, from kindergarten kids to college grads, are coming up with some pretty imaginative ways to support their nominees. We can have like, red punch. Yes, that's, that's a great idea. Yeah. And okay. I have a maple cookie cutter. So November the 29th is going to be our greatest Canadian party at Greenall School. Let's put Tommy Douglas up. Okay. Stephen Leacock, great Canadian. Let's get him up. These are our greatest Canadians. Okay, one last stat for you. More than 4,000 schools are participating in the Greatest Canadian Contest. And that's the latest from our command center. Remember, the Greatest Canadian race is changing as we speak. And if you want to affect its outcome, use all your voting opportunities. If you want to vote online, go to our website at cbc.ca slash greatest. Text messengers should text the first or last name of your nominee to 22210. And finally, you can call us at 1-866-303-VOTE. That's 1-866-303-8683. And remember, you have five votes per household phone. Next week, our final nominee gets his turn in the spotlight, Pierre Elliott Trudeau. The CBC's Rex Murphy defines the man who defined an entire generation. Canada must be a just society. He was a man of many guises, in calm, the reflected visionary, in crisis, an ardent champion. Our courage is strong. This guy's a fighter. No, that's our answer. At times, the playful charmer, but always and essentially the voice of who we are and what Canada can be. That's it for tonight. We'll see you again Monday. And don't forget to vote. Time is running out.